Welcome back to a Midcraft Classic. The last time I ran this mission, we did a speedrun of sorts. A, a true speedrun, I guess I should say. I wasn't setting any records or anything like that, but uh, we did a speedrun. It worked out really well. I want to go back, though, and redo this mission. I'll throw a clip down here of the speedrun. The speedrun involved basically... Oh, we might kind of want to rush through to get a good surround on these guys. And then pull your Death Knight back because he's useful. We want to keep him alive. Destroy these all here. But yeah, so I ran a poll on the Mitcraft channel, and there was a overwhelming victory for Warcraft 2 as to the next game, or the game you want to see more of on the channel in 2024. So let's go ahead and make it happen. By the way, if a footman comes out, he's going to come out right there. And so we want healthy grunts right next to this barracks. But hopefully we can take it down. But yeah, Warcraft 2, that, uh, that won the poll. Warcraft 3, a sec somewhat distant second. Warcraft 1, a close third. Um, so I am actively playing through the Warcraft 3 campaign presently on my channel. But we will, of course, be going through and still playing all of the other Warcraft games at our disposal. Which is going to be a lot of fun. Good, we're keeping these guys healthy. There's towers up there. We're not going to deal with them for now. Whenever we build up, we'll be able to take those out with ease. There we go. So, the blue human controls the majority of the map. Our mission objective, the dragons, are up here. But the purple human is who we're going to target first. Purple human does produce griffins, which are all too annoying. All right, come on, peon. You can do this. There we go. So the human AI is a little weird. It wants to... Basically, the blue human's going to run units to about this spot before they come down. And... You can just kill them in the pathway from there. So we're going to be building towers for defense. Once we get our economy up and running a little bit better, we'll be building another town hall up here. And this is also where I want to build my barracks for unit production as well. The key to victory in any real-time strategy game is a strong economy, avoiding supply caps, and managing your army well. So let's see if we can do all three. See, I watch this footman. Look at that fool. He's not even gonna try to fight me. We just made him look like a noob. And I'm gonna send two grunts up. We're gonna destroy some of this wall to open up more access to this gold mine up here. But, uh... I'm probably going to build my lumber mill up here, actually, just because these forests will eventually be the main ones we want to mine in order to keep this kind of natural protective barrier in place right there. So here you go. Taken out with ease. You see, just like that, I got supply capped already. Right after discussing the importance of avoiding the supply cap. But hey, it happens. Nobody's perfect. Myself especially. Alright, we'll build our lumber mill. I guess when the next uh, batch comes in. Ready to work. Wait, for 50. Would you want to keep Yeah. All peons coming in are moving over to lumber from here. 
I'll put one more on this block of wood, and then the rest will be going up there. Keep it up, grunts. This mission is winnable with nine ogres, nine troll berserkers, and four to six, roughly, catapults. The catapults might be an optional addition. I like to have them, though. They're great for taking out towers, especially cannon towers. And there's going to be a lot of those coming through. More farms. We'll start building our tower defenses. Because once we have the towers up here, we won't even need this army here anymore. And they can hang out up there where I'm going to be building my replacement barracks. I can cast two death coils here. Incredibly powerful ability. We'll upgrade our trolls. Their damage is going to be all too important. Okay, get another farm as well. One fifty, and of course, I'm at one twenty-five somehow. Cost me 25 lumber. No idea. It is what it is. This footman's walking through the gauntlet. It's literally like a tower defense or something. Too funny. What's the cost on that? Yeah, we'll skip it for now. Bring home the lumber, my peons. The lowliest forces of the horde. And you know what? We're going to move the grunts up here. The ranged forces can remain there for now. Hey now, what is happening up here? The humans were prepping up some kind of crazy assault. But they never stood a chance. I will move attack group two up as well. That was strange. Warcraft 2 is not necessarily known for its uh, groundbreaking AI, but never underestimate it. There can be some, uh, some challenges for sure. Relearning my building spacing. Go. Work complete. Oh, yeah. and we're going to be having gold coming in like there's no tomorrow in just a moment. Setting area commands is very important in uh, Warcraft 2, by the way. So, you know, it's Shift F2, Shift F3. Let's you set up zones just like that. And 
that helps you to really bolster your economy much more quickly. Absolute massacre. We'll send these guys over there. And our axe thrower core is going to be of utmost importance against the griffins, which will be coming down very soon. Yeah, the blue Terran really, j or human, not Terran. I guess Terran is a human of sorts, but uh, the blue human just makes very simple units and sends them in very lightweight. Oh, first Griffin. Yeah, we'll be better prepared for the next one. And a stronghold is not absolutely necessary, by the way. You could totally get away with this mission, uh, beating this mission without bloodlust. I have successfully done so on prior runs. Um, that being said, bloodlust, you know, it is a plus for sure. So if that's your style, I say go for it. Yeah, and we're going to get some catapults so we can go ahead and take out those towers up there. They're a serious nuisance. Everyone up here. Leave that. Uh, leave that in place. And we are really low on lumber. Ogre time. And with that, the push begins. Once these ogres pop out. We should be able to see over these rocks. There we go. I'm 
Pull back a bit, pull back a bit. It's time for purple to go down. Who does he think he is? Get regeneration. Send these guys up. We'll put them on lumber. Right, cannon tower. Another cannon tower. Okay, hold on. That one has to go down first. When the Griffin Aviaries go down, it's game over for our friends. Alright, and they probably have another one up here. Yep. We're gonna destroy Purple's barracks, and then we're gonna take down the castle to make room for our own. They have the nerve to make another barracks. So it's going to be a tower crawl from here. Okay. 
with the goal of ending up in the far top right quadrant of the map. Victory is at hand. But only if the AI cooperates. Master? Victory is here. We did it! No speed run necessary. Straight cut victory. We made our way around the map. I'm Mick. This is Mickcraft. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much, especially to our members, DCP, Aaron, and Footbucket. Please join as well if you'd like to continue to support the channel. Comment below what your favorite Warcraft game is and what you'd like to see next out of the MickCraft channel. Catch you on the next mission.